what's the tea today's video is going to be a get ready with me um i'm actually not going anywhere today but i do have a work meeting um and normally i don't really get ready for work but for the purposes of this video i am going to do like my everyday makeup situation so if you want to see how i look on a daily basis when i actually have some plans then just keep watching so i actually already have this product on but the first thing that i normally put on my face is this ambi fade cream it's like a moisturizer and it's pretty thick which is why i really really like it and i think it's a good makeup base and i use the one for normal skin and if you watched my how i cleared my skin video that i posted a couple weeks ago then you already know how much I love this product. After moisturizer, I usually go in with some primer. Now, personally, I don't know that primer does anything. Um, I wear it just because, but I really don't see much of a difference when I wear it versus when I don't. Um, but I usually go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that on. And I have no idea how much you're supposed to use but this is how much I have right here. I just kind of rub it in. I saw that it's, I had this problem where my concealer always creases like under my eyes. So I'm really gonna go in and make sure that I put some primer there. Cause I saw on Instagram that if you put, you know, primer right under your eyes, it should help your concealer not to crease and look all gross and lame. Okay. So that's done. And now I'm gonna go in with foundation. I know sometimes people do their brows first. Um, usually it depends how I'm feeling, but I guess today I will start with foundation. So this is the foundation that I use. It is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. And I use the shade 35 Neutral. Um, I also sometimes use the shade 50 Neutral, but since it's the winter time now and I'm a little bit more pale, I'm gonna go in with 35. So normally I really just squeeze it straight on my face. Nothing fancy here, just a little there and a little there. So this is normally how I put it on and then I will go in with my brush. I don't use um, sponges at all when I do my makeup. I find that it makes it patchy, but it could be that I'm just not using them right. But um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush. This is the M439 brush. And I'm just kinda gonna swirl this around just to give me like an even base and make sure that I drag it under my neck. I'm just gonna blend that in. And I just really like this foundation. I have oily skin and I think that it has a nice finish and it doesn't make me like super shiny. Um, and here's a tip I'm not doing it for this video because I don't plan on having this makeup on for very long but if I'm going to be out all day um, then sometimes I will put a little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder um, on my face like set my primer um, that way it's just an extra barrier of powder between the oils of your face and your foundation. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that today. And then I just kind of drag it on my eyelids. Um, make sure it's blended and awesome. It's giving flawless. Okay, so the next thing I'll do is go in with my concealer. Here I have the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm kind of on the fence about this one, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, but I use it with my favorite concealer of all time, the LA Girl Pro Conceal. And this one's almost out, but I have like six backups. Um, but the NARS concealer is in the shade Medium Dark 1.5, and the LA Girl concealer is in the shade Fawn. So what I'll normally do is just put it under my eyes. This is the LA Girl Concealer, just a little bit. And I have a little spot right here, so I'll put a little bit of concealer there. And then I will go in with the NARS Concealer because it's a little bit lighter and just put that on top. And again, right there. 
I don't really need conceal the rest of my face, but actually maybe I'll go right here um, just to brighten things up. And to blend my concealer, I usually go in with this brush. It's just a random Morphe brush from a set. Um, I'll link it down below if I can find it, but I just kind of use it to blend. And I'm in no way like a makeup artist. I just, you know, I'm just out here doing my makeup just like everybody else. Nothing special. Everyone has their own way. And I've been doing my makeup since like the end of middle school. So this is, you know, this is what works for me. But I just kind of tap everything in. And yeah, I think putting that primer underneath helped because I'm not... It's not creasing. Then again, I did literally just blend it, but we'll see how it goes. So, maybe a little excess down here, here. So yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good. Next, I'll go in with my brows. So I'll just brush them up. And I found that if I set my brows before I start doing them, it kind of goes on better and stays a lot longer. So here, I have the... Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and the shade Translucent Honey. So this is like the medium shade. And I also have this random brush that I got from Primark in London. So I just kind of go in and swirl this little brush around and then I put it directly on my brow because I don't want to set my whole face yet um, because I might, you know, depending on how it goes when I'm doing my brows, I might need to conceal them a bit. So just gonna set right there for now. And honestly, it probably wouldn't hurt to put a little bit right here. Just because I know if I don't, it might be crease city. So I'm actually going to speed through the rest of my brows. I've already filmed an eyebrow tutorial, so I will be back when my brows have been finished. And I will link that video down below. Okay, I'm back. Brows are done. And now I'm going to set my face. So if you don't already know, let me put you guys on. This is the best powder I've ever tried. And I've tried quite a few. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. And I have it in the shade, what is this? Three, like the tan shade. So I am obsessed with this powder. As someone with oily skin, I think it's perfect. So I usually just kind of swirl it in there and just, you know, pack it on my whole face. Literally. It keeps the shine away. It's not heavy. It doesn't look gross in the photos. So... Honestly, in my opinion, it's a 10 out of 10. And this with the foundation, the Sephora foundation, is like the perfect duo. And this is pretty expensive, actually. I think it's like $42. Um, so it's a little pricey. But the foundation is like 20, 26, $26, I think. So they kind of even each other out. An expensive powder with a cheaper foundation. And the foundation is still really, really good. Okay, and then just a wipe off the nose ring. Okay, that's giving. And it's still, you know, I still have some glow, but I'm not oily. That's why I like this powder. It doesn't make you like super matte, like if you set your entire face with the Laura Mercier powder. It just gets rid of the extra oiliness that you probably wouldn't want. And honestly, I know this is kind of taboo when doing your makeup, but I also put it under my eyes because... I don't really like the look of super bright under eyes. So I just think this looks normal. I mean, it's good for every day. Um, okay, so what's next? What's next? Let me see what I have here. Okay, next I'm going to go in with some blush. I really like this Patrick Ta blush. It's like a cream blush here and then a powder blush here. And I normally use the powder blush, but I've used the cream blush and it's really good. Um, and this is in the shade, Oh, She's Different. That's cute. And it's kind of like a pinky shade. It's not really peach, but it's, it's literally just pink. Well, maybe it's kind of peach, actually. Hmm. It's showing up kind of peach on me, but in here, it kind of looks more purple. So just put a little on my nose. This is kind of right there. And I like blush, but I still want it to look, you know, natural. Like it's not powder sitting on my face. So I'm going to go in and just kind of 
blend it in with the powder brush. Awesome. And next I'm going to go in with some highlight. So this is the Too Faced Canary Diamond Highlight. I really like it because it's kind of sheer, but it still has a little bit of sparkle. And I'm just going to use this random, oh God, she looks like she's in a bad way. Honestly, this brush is struggling, but this is like a random Morphe brush. So I usually just kind of pat it right here. And then a little here. I don't want to put on too much because again, this is just a work meeting. I'm not going out, but if you can see it, it shows up. It's really, really like sheer, but it just gives you a little extra something. And then right here, I always, oh God, there's a hair on my face. Oh, <laughs> I hate that. I hate that, you know, when the feeling when you, you know there's a hair on your face because you can feel it, but you just can't. Is there another one? No. When you can feel the hair on your face, but you just cannot see it. I hate that. That's like one of my pet peeves. But there you go. A little bit of glow. It's looking good. Okay. And next, I think I will go in with some mascara. Clearly, I need it. I can't even see my lashes right now. So the mascara I'm gonna use is this Mega Plush from, where is this from? From Maybelline. Um, I'm not, you know, a mascara connoisseur, but I just kind of go with whatever, really. I do like, this is not one of those, but I do really like the ones with the really thin brushes. Like, let me, let me grab it. So as I was saying, I like the mascaras with the really thin brushes. I think those really get your lashes good, like this. This is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit, I believe. So I just think that these are really good. And to be fair, I'm kind of running out of this one, but it is my favorite. And this is the travel size, so I always bring it when I'm traveling. But I just really like this shape because I hate when my lashes clump up and stick together so i think this kind of just separates them really good and i always brush down to to get the top of my lashes i don't know if that's normal or not but it's what i do so that eye is basically done and if i was going to go out i would kind of jazz things up maybe add some bronzer and some lashes but again a work meeting so just gonna keep it simple. I think mascara is like actually my least favorite part of doing my makeup just because it's so tedious because I hate when it looks like I have gaps. Honestly, I guess I should just get lash extensions, but I, I cannot handle the upkeep. And the fact that you can't get them wet, that's really weird to me. Like for people with eyelash extensions, how do you guys wash your face? Because I've always been curious. You're not supposed to get them wet. And like when I'm washing my face, my lashes are getting wet. So I, I just don't really get it. But they look cute. So. Okay. And I'm trying to debate if I'm going to do my bottom lashes. I guess so. But I wouldn't always do those. There was a point in time where I would not leave the house without bottom mascara. But I just... I think sometimes it looks cuter without it, without anything on the bottom. Ah! Yep. Should not have put on this bottom mascara. Well, this is going to have to dry because isn't that the trick? You're supposed to like get it off once it dries and it just flakes off. That's what I've heard. So we're, we're going to try that out today. In the meantime, let's move on to lips. So I'm going to clean my lips off because they get all gross from the foundation and from the powder. Okay, cute. I'm going to go in with this lip liner. I just got it and it actually has really cool packaging. It kind of looks like wood, but this is the Makeup Forever artist color pencil and it's in the shade what 
shade is this? Limitless Brown. Interesting. So I'm just going to go in and line the bottom. Okay. And then line the top. And then I sometimes always extend, like I overline slightly right here. Not so much at the top of my lip, like right here, but I like extending it on the sides. Like that. Okay, good enough. So now I have two options of lipstick that actually look the exact same. There is the Fenty Cream Gloss in the shade Honey Waffles. And then I have the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Amber. As you can see, they're very similar. Actually, this one's darker a bit. This one's a bit darker. I don't think that's what I'm going for today, so I'm going to go with this one. And I really like the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. I think they're they're cheap and they're good. This one's like 16 bucks. And here we have it. Now for the moment of truth, I'm gonna to try to get this little spot of mascara off my face. So I have my little spoolie, because I think this is what you're supposed to use. And it's really just supposed to flake off. I guess. Okay, cool. So, and then at the end, I always go in with a little bit more powder because, again, I am an oily girl. So I just take my brush, go in here, just really around the nose, chin, and in between the eyebrows. Okay, so I'll go in for a little close-up so you guys can see. And you can see right here the little highlight. I just think it looks cute, very subtle. But here we have it. And then now in true get ready with me style, I will put on an outfit. So my hair is already done. It's just slicked back in a ponytail. Um, and then here is my jacket. It's from the K label. And I know you guys can't really see the full fit in this clip, but if you head over to one of my past hauls, I will link it down below. I have this exact jacket in the haul and I try it on and I show you guys. And yeah, this is one of my favorite jackets. I just love the color and the fit is everything. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.